Guys, hello and welcome to the Librarian TV Network. Today is Monday, uh, 2024, and we are right here in Freetown this morning. So, basically, like we said, that uh, the Librarian TV Network is not really limited to Libra so far. So, wherever we are, definitely we'll try to ensure that we bring you breaking news. So, at this point, we are trying to make our way to town. Uh, we are around the Congo waterway and we will be bringing you some breaking news in regards to some major happenings in uh, Liberia and also I uh, You know for most of our viewers So this is also to showcase a free time and how this backup place look like as well So I uh, keep following Liberian TV Network this morning We will try to bring you some major major side of view of Sierra Leone. You can check on our Facebook and YouTube channel, uh, wherein we will be bringing you some, you know, pictorial stuff. Yesterday we showcased you the number two beach in Freytown, and that, you know, many people were really concerned. People were happy. People were saying, "Oh yes, this place is cool." But how be it? I'm Francis Kedi Kaba coming to you live. So yesterday there was this mountain. I uh, there was this mountain uh, tension at the United Methodist Church in Morovia, wherein. Uh, the issue about homosexual uh, has been something that they have been discussing for a couple of time and in fact uh, according to information we receive uh, from other news outlet, the OKFM, DN News and many media uh, platforms that the United Methodist Church in Liberia uh, officially has indulged the issue about you know gay marriage so yesterday uh, people from uh, people from different, you know, uh, background, especially in Liberia, I uh, heard about a gay marriage that was undergoing at one of the churches, and then they tried to actually make their way there. So, many librarians and many people have been, you know, uh, giving their own thoughts in regards to that. Uh, why should uh, the institution actually involve themselves into such? But this is Liberia, uh, we don't really know why. But then, right, this is what they intend to definitely do. So the fellow name is uh, Bishop Samuel Quares. Bishop Samuel Quares is the bishop for the United Methodist Church in uh, Liberia. So if you are following us from any part of the world, I'm Francis KD Kapo coming to you live. You can like, uh, comment and share on our Facebook and YouTube channel. We are right here in Freetown this morning. This one say uh, controversial district number 14 lawmaker Honorable Mose Akaros Gray has provided his accession in regards to uh, President We are, you know, uh, dancing. So there is a video quotation on social media where in the former president, George Mano We are, is here, yeah, yeah, was spotted, you know, dancing to uh, music. And then it has raised serious concern, you know. Uh, in and around Liberia, and one of Liberia, uh, you know, lawmakers, Honorable uh, Yeke Koloba, you know, Yeke Koloba has been a critic. He was a critic. Uh, he was a critic from the, the We Are Led government, and after We Are lost the election, later on he also became a critic to uh, President Buaka. Now he is condemning the action of President, you know, We Are. That's part. He and President We are saying pressing the talk, they do many things. He is saying that what President We are is doing is not really necessary and you know in, uh, in the middle of you know huge economic challenges and many other things. So he is like wondering if President We are is really serious or not. But by uh, this is Liberia, not keep posted, not wait and see as to what actually become of the outcome. But then it, it can be dated that the former president. Uh, during his administration as president, uh, he, he sang a series of songs and in fact uh, there were video quotations on social media where in the former president uh, used to dance to some, you know, uh, from music and also uh, singing some music and also featuring some Liberia prominent, you know, young people that like a wiki dodo and many other persons. So, I... Critics like the like, like of Martin Coley and many others have been saying, but this is not a strange thing to Liberia. This is what President Weir has been doing. So even if he does that again, that is not an issue. But 
Uh, many are actually you not know, condemning the action of him uh, wherein he is vowing or he wants to vow for the 2029 presidency. And District Number 14 Representative Honorable uh, Muka Kekula has actually provided, you know, a second uh, report to the district. I, I, he said that for the past 12 years, such wasn't done, but he has studied why so actually do so. So, uh, many citizens across the district, I raised concern in regards to that. There were question asked, and many actually applauded him for his, you know, effort for what he actually, you know, did during the course of the week. But this way is Liberia. Not wait and see what happened. Uh, President Boaka commend Minister of Labor for uploading workers' right doing concessions, you know, in special. So, a uh, reason Honorable Kupakwa, the Minister of Labor, uh, addressed the press in, uh, in Liberia and he at the Ministry of Information and Culture and Tourism, wherein he said they were going to actually check me, do some lot of work and so many things, especially with concessions, you know, companies. So, the Ministry of Labor. Uh, from what he said, they were going to move from place to place, especially uh, companies, institutions that are running in Libra, to ensure that workers were being at OK and everything are uh, intact. So, President Borkai, now at this point, is actually you know, commending his efforts for what he has done. So this one said President Boyka arrived in Rome, Italy to attend the 2024 food, uh, food forum that is being hosted by the food, by the food agricultural organization. So as we speak, President Boyka and his team are coming in Italy to see how best they can have, uh, you know, they, to attend the food, you know, forum in Italy. So of recent he was in the U.S. and he went to France and other part of the war, but then uh, he came back and immediately when he came back, he received some, you know, resignation letter and many more. So again, he is in Italy, uh, but before President Boakai could actually go to Italy, uh, many, you know, citizens were raising concern, what is the benefit of his travel and so many things, but then uh, people are saying that, oh, some people are saying that, oh, his travel is actually, you know, bringing some youth to Liberia. It's making Liberians so actually, you know, get to where uh, they are. So these are just major, 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 you know, concern coming from uh, Liberian people are saying that, oh, at least President uh, Boakai, uh trip to other part of the world is actually bringing some relief to Liberia. And other are saying, no, his trip is not actually bringing any relief to Liberia. So these are just concern coming from Liberian across the country. And this one say LRA AXC US 500 million in domestic revenue as the DG Jala Dubba commends, uh, he was commended for, you know, his delegated work that he has, that he is actually doing at the, uh, at the LRA. So, and also there is this, you know, huge, Concern coming from citizens across Liberia that oh, thanks, Honorable Ami Muda has resigned. Honorable Dawa Jalashu also resigned because I uh, both of them were involved into such. And during that time, also Honorable Amra Hakone also wrote on his Facebook page, I uh, condemning Martin Corley, a uh, one side advocacy as well, and he just focused on one side. In fact, his advocacy is not something legit. It's not something that needs to actually be looked at. It's not something that someday just something like a propaganda for Ami Muda to lose a job. So Amara Kone and Honorable Amara Kone has been in sympathy with uh, Honorable Muda. But however, he encouraged Honorable Muda to uh, be, you know, strong to move forward. And he can do many things he wishes to do, especially in his private life. And this one say Ambassador finally stepped down as Liberia permanent representation to the UN immediately after the, the UN General Assembly. So this one also raises a serious concern that why is it that immediately after the UN General Assembly, Honorable 
uh, family or the UN uh, rep, uh, permanent representative to the Miss a Librarian permanent representative to the UN should resign. So these are raising a serious concern that why librarians or why government officials are just resigning on a daily basis and so on. But let's wait and see what becomes the outcome. And former VP Taylor vows to uh, revisitize Dry Starfish Foundation. So. I uh, so this is this is what was coming from the vice president former vice president. So guys at this hour we want to say thank you for following Librarian TV Network. You can like, share and comment on our Facebook YouTube page. I'm Francis Kedikobo.